coming to you from the Orange Room in Coon Rapids, Minnesota. This is It's Only Food with your host, Chef John Polite. and welcome back to the Orange Room. I am Chef John Polite, and this is It's Only Food. So glad you're with us today. Today we're going to be making a classic patty melt. We're going to use homemade patties and we're going to do it on some rye bread with some cheddar cheese. So let's step on into the kitchen here. Our ingredients of course are going to be rye bread, marbled rye. I've got a couple pounds of ground beef, two raw onions, some sharp, sharp cheddar cheese, and Thousand Island. So Join us when we get back, and we will start cooking. All right, like I said, we're gonna be doing a patty melt. One of the great things about a patty melt is it's got fried onions on it. So I am basically going to do the fried onions first because I want the flavor in the pan when I cook the burgers in there. I'm gonna hand make the burgers, and then we're gonna fry them up in the same oil and fragrance and perfume that the onions gave the pan. So here we go. I'm gonna just cut these up, and we'll give them a nice saute. Let me turn the pan on also to get that getting hot. Try not to blow us all up. I got it on about a medium, medium high heat to let that warm up. And then we'll add some oil. And we'll get those going. You'll see above me in the top of the screen, I have a tutorial of how to cut onions that I will link to that. So you can click that link and go right to the tutorial on how to cut onions if you do not know. So next we're going to add a little oil into our pan. And by a little I mean about two tablespoons. You want to shallow fry these. You want enough oil in the bottom of the pan to coat them all the way through. Okay, so the pan is hot. I'm going to take the onions. I'm just going to slide them right into the pan. And you can hear that the pan is hot. And the oil is going. I'm going to try not to touch the Teflon on this pan, even though it doesn't even have Teflon, with my metal tongs because it will scrape it. Even though I hate this pan, I will still show it some love. All right, now that we've got these going, I'm going to add a little salt and pepper while these fry, and then we will get going on our hamburger patties. All right, the little trick that I have is I've got my bread that I'm gonna put the patty on. So, I'm gonna take enough burger out and make a patty. It's going to be the same width and same length as the bread that I'm using, and a little bit more because it's gonna shrink as it cooks. So, you want them to fit nicely into the patty, or nicely into the bread, so when you take a bite, you're not getting just bread and cheese. You're gonna get some meat in there too, so. They're a little bit big, but this is a sandwich that's meant to be enjoyed and not worry about calories. Edit that up too. As you can see, it fits. It's uniform to the bread. We will not eat that piece of bread because it does have raw meat on it. And we don't want to eat raw meat. Here we have our two patties. They look a little big, but that's fine. They're going to shrink just a touch. But they will be nice for that patty melt because they'll fit right on the bread. We got our onions going here. <coughs> Excuse me, we have our onions going. We want to cook these down so they're caramelized. And a little golden brown. There we go, you can see that color in there. The sugar to cook out and help add some flavor to it. And do a little sweet, you cut kind of a bite out of the tomato, of the onion. Down just a little bit. I'm going to add a little more salt and pepper. I'm going to stop cooking. I'm going to take these and put them in a different container now. And then we're going to add them again to the pan with the burgers when the burgers are almost cooked through. So put these burger patties in there now. 
We're going to let these cook down until they're about medium. And while the burgers are cooking, let's slice up our cheese. about four slices per piece of bread. I'm making two sandwiches, so pretty much this block. I think Trinity will enjoy this one. Oh. Let's just do it all. Got our cheese. All right, like I said earlier, when these burgers get ready to be uh, taken out and used, I'm going to add our green or our onions. So I'm adding those back into the pan to let them continue to cook and to continue to add their lovely flavor into the burgers. I'm going to put the bread down, butter side up. pan is not big enough. I'm going to make these one at a time then. Both sides are going to get cheese. put that over the heat, the actual flame, so it melts. Off to the side, off to the side, it will melt. You'll have one half your sandwich from cook. So always remember to keep your sandwich over direct heat. Or if you're using a grill, find your element that runs down the grill and put it right over the top of that. So, All right, as we can see, the cheese is melted. I'm going to take some of the onions out of here and put them on here. I'm going to turn, of course, turn the heat off so the bread doesn't burn. Cheese is melted as far as you want to go. You don't want to get it any hotter than that. Lots and lots of onions on there. At this point too, I like to put my Thousand Island on it. Get it a little bit warm. You can actually put the Thousand Island in on the side too, because if you get french fries, you can dip it in there. But I like it right on here. There we go. We're assembling it. There's your patty melt. You can see how thick that is. We're going to cut this up and plate it. Then I'm going to play some sexy music over the top of a couple of pictures of it. Then we'll come back and I'll eat it, give my review, and then we'll say goodbye. So stay tuned. of truth. I'm going to take a bite of this and see how it tastes. So, it is a huge sandwich. As you can see, this is my head and this is a sandwich. It's almost as big as this melon I got on the top of my shoulders. So, here's the first bite. The cheese is almost crispy. If you, uh, excuse me, there, now I have my head in the shot. If you like rye bread, 
Stay in there, sweetheart. Stay in there. If you like rye bread and cheese and onions and burger, this is pretty good. It's, the, the rye bread is really, really good when it's grilled. I think the sugars that come out of it. All right, I'm gonna get in there and get a little bit more meat in this bite, so. Mm. This is a fantastic sandwich. You can't go wrong with patty milk. This is a messy, messy mess. But you know what? You're nothing wrong with that because it's food. That is how thick that burger is. I don't know if I can get that to focus. Yeah, there you go. That's a thick burger on there. And I'll tell you what, it's worth it. It was worth the wait. The onions are incredible, the bread, the cheese. Got a homemade pickle. a good pickle too so hey i appreciate you joining us today here in the orange room i'm chef john polite this has been it's only food make sure you hit that like button leave us a comment if you haven't subscribed go ahead and feel free to subscribe to this channel we got a lot of exciting things that we do and make sure you uh share this video and this channel with everyone you know uh if you get a chance, head to www.itsonlyfood.biz. Check out my webpage with all my seasonings, dry smoke rubs, and spice ones that I have on there. I think you'll find some ones that you might just like. So feel free to go there and browse around. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot for joining us. Take care. And never forget that it's only food. Bye-bye.